How to Overcome Anxiety as Christians 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 6-7 Therefore humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that He may exalt you in due time, casting all care upon Him, for He cares for you. It is important to know what is happening in the world around you. But bad news is what makes the headlines, and these headlines drop fear in us. Anxiety creeps in, and we're not even certain about tomorrow because what we have been reading might just happen in our community at any time. The fact that you are a Christian does not mean anxiety will not come in at times. It is normal for every human being to feel this way. However, we as Christians know the one who can help us out of anxiety. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 through 7, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Cast all your anxieties on the Lord. That means it is a fact that there will be anxieties in our lives, but there is only one who can give you supernatural peace, and that is Jesus. What are the effects of anxiety on the life of Christians? That is, if you allow anxiety without fighting it, what will it cause to happen? 1. It stops progress. Some people are afraid of moving forward because they believe that their goal is too big for them. They are afraid they will not live up to the expectations of men. God wants to make you become the head, not the tail. You must not be afraid to take the step. The fear of tomorrow will stop you from advancing in life. You must deal with the fear and move forward in life. Fear of what you don't know will make you stop pushing forward. 2. Anxiety makes you do the wrong thing. Fear will always push one into doing the wrong thing. Some people have studied hard for an exam, but because out of fear, they did not do well on the exam. When you allow anxiety to consume you, you will always do the wrong thing. You will make the wrong decision just to bail yourself out of fear. The parable, the three servants who were given talents in the Bible explains better. The first got five, and he made more because he was not afraid of using the talent to make more. The second got two and made more with it. The last one was given one, but he did nothing with it. Why? Because of fear. Matthew chapter 25, verse 20 to 28. So he who had received five talents came and brought five other talents, saying, Lord, you delivered me five talents. Look, I have gained five more talents besides them. His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You are faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. He also who had received two talents came and said, Lord, you delivered to me two talents. Look, I have gained two more talents besides them. His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. Then he who had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew you to be a hard man, reaping where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered seed. And I was afraid, and I went and hid your talent in the ground. Look, there you have what is yours. But his Lord answered and said to him, You wicked and lazy servant, you knew that I reap where I have not sown and gather where I have not scattered seed. So you ought to have deposited my money with the bankers and at my coming, I would have received back my own with interest. So take the talent from him and give it to him who has 10 talents. This servant was not afraid of the master, but he was afraid of the uncertainties that will come from investing the one that was given to him. He was afraid that if he invested it, he might not yield. Many people have that same fear. They don't want to do something because they feel it will fail. That is anxiety forcing people to do the wrong thing. How do we as Christians overcome anxiety? One, pray against the spirit of anxiety. As God is concerned, He has not given us the spirit of fear, but of courage. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7 
For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. If anxiety comes, then it must be the plan of the devil to make you feel useless and render you powerless. When you have great unease about what is to happen, you start to think negatively, and a negative thought has greater impacts on us. We must fight anxiety as a spirit. Satan will always want to use the bad things happening around to scare you and bring anxiety into your life. When you feel this, the first thing you do is pray. As Christians, this is our first aid treatment. Prayer is the first thing. Tell God to help you overcome it and call the Holy Spirit to comfort you. You know the Holy Spirit is the comforter and he will always give you the courage to do whatever you want to do that is in God's will. Two, worry less. We want to go out of the house, we worry. We walk around people, we worry. The things we will wear, what we will eat, the house we will stay in, all these things are the basic needs of man and they make us worry all the time. But we need to limit our worries. To worry less means you have faith in God and you believe God will take care of all your needs. When you have faith in God, your mind will be at rest and believe that the result will be positive. Jesus himself told us that we should not worry too much about the things we want and that is because he knows it can cause anxiety. And that is not the kind of spirit that is required in our lives. Matthew chapter 6, verse 25. Therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? If Jesus can tell us not to worry, it means that he has plans for us. It means he is working things out for us and they will be perfect. Romans chapter 8, verse 28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God and them who are in calling according to his purpose. 3. Rest very well. Stress is one of the causes of anxiety, and stress comes mainly from a lack of rest. According to the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1, there was a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. There are times that you must rest well to regain your energy and be ready for work. Overworking will not help. Truly, there are things you need to do. You might be doing double shifts just to make more money, but you must make sure you set the time to rest. Take time out to relax. It helps you to refresh your energy and your energy is renewed. As Christians, our health is important too, and we must do all it takes to take good care of ourselves and our families, spiritually and physically.